Did you know that 70% of typical household water usage is used outdoors? Did you also know that the majority of residential landscapes are overwatered? Hi, my name is Mark Daly and I'm the Director of Water Management at DLC Resources. At DLC Resources, we are well aware of this and have built a water right program based with one goal in mind. That is to provide enough water for healthy plants and turf and no more. In our commitment to water conservation, we are excited to partner with Verado and share some irrigation knowledge in these short how-to videos. We are confident that with some basic knowledge and attention to detail, you too can maintain a nice healthy looking landscape but with less water and save on your water bills. Enjoy. Hello, my name is Brian Gondre. I work for DLC Resources. Um, I'm a certified irrigation contractor and a certified landscape irrigation auditor through the Irrigation Association. Also, I am a WaterSense partner. In 2010, I received an award for excellence in conservation through the EPA. And I'm talking to you today about, well, irrigation. Um, something I know a little bit about. The reason why irrigation is so important is uh, the cost of water is going up and we have to use it sparingly. A um, couple of issues before we get uh, going on irrigation components and parts of an irrigation system. Another reason why it's important to know your irrigation system and how you're applying the water is that you want to apply the right amount of water. No more, no less for healthy turf and plants. So with that being said, let's go to some of the irrigation components that you'll find in a basic irrigation system. Okay, this is the water meter here, the first portion of the irrigation system. And this is owned by the water purveyor. And this is how you get billed for all the water that you use downstream of the valve. Also, all, everything downstream of this valve, you are responsible for any water that's being used. So this particular water meter is read electronically. That's what this device is right here. It's read by an electronic wand. There's lots of different ways. They, some are still hand read. So anything downstream of this, you are responsible for. Okay, we talked about the water meter. We're gonna talk about the second major component on an irrigation system. This here is a backflow prevention device. It is to keep water separated, contaminated water from potable water, and anything being back siphoned from the landscape into your potable drinking water to your house. Okay, so we've talked about the water meter. We've talked about the prevention backflow device. Now we're gonna talk about the irrigation valves. Here's an irrigation valve box. Take the lid off. Inside, you have irrigation valves. From this point, from the water meter to the backflow to the irrigation valves, everything is under constant pressure. Anything downstream of these valves is only pressurized when the irrigation controller tells that particular valve to come on. Okay, now that we've talked about the water meter, the backflow preventer, and the control valves, the irrigation valves out front, we're gonna talk about the irrigation controller. This is the actual brains of the operation. Um, it's very important to have the current time in here, the date, the duration of time that you'd like to water, and how long, or the frequency that you would like to water. Um, the reason for this being so important is, is you want to try to get healthy plant material, healthy turf at a minimal cost and a minimal amount of water being used. Okay, now that we've talked about the water meter, the pressure vacuum breaker, the irrigation control valves, and the irrigation timer, I want to talk to you about two different types of watering that we see here typically in landscape. Um, overhead watering. And with overhead watering, there are two different types. There's gear driven heads or rotors, and then there's pop-ups. Um, the difference between the two of them, pop-ups supply water at a faster rate than gear driven heads. The other type of irrigation that we see is drip irrigation in Arizona. This is mostly done underground and it applies water at a very slow rate. 
normally at one to two gallons per hour. So in summary, we've talked about the basic essential parts of an irrigation system. We've talked about the water meter, the backflow prevention device, the control valves, the irrigation timer, and how water is applied overhead and under the ground. Thank you for joining us for part one of our homeowner irrigation video series. In part two, DLC Zone, Brian Condre will be back to discuss basic irrigation programming. To learn more about DLC resources, please visit us at dlcresources.com. For additional landscaping tips and articles, please visit our learning center at dlclearningcenter.com or find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash dlcresources.